While Kwame Kilpatrick is celebrating his third night of freedom tonight, his co-defendant, Bobby Ferguson, isn't so lucky. Thank you for joining us here at 6. I'm Dave Llewellyn. And I'm Carolyn Clifford. Ferguson's family and supporters say it's just not fair. And tonight, they are telling 7 investigator Ross Jones they are hoping the Biden administration will step in. Well, Kwame Kilpatrick enjoys freedom, posting photos of family reunions to Instagram, Bobby Ferguson remains in federal prison in Ohio. His sentence, even though it was seven years shorter than Kilpatrick's, wasn't commuted by Donald Trump. What we know collectively as a family is that we want our brother home. That's, that's what we know. Today, Ferguson's family says that while they're thrilled Kilpatrick's sentence was commuted, it makes no sense that his partner in crime didn't get the same treatment. I know the system is corrupt. I know how the system is. I know that it's not you know, is not designed for us. Ferguson was convicted of nine counts of public corruption back in 2013, including racketeering, extortion, and fraud. Prosecutors said Kilpatrick steered bids to his friend and the two shared in the profits. It's just on its face, it's unfair. Attorney Mike Ratai defended Ferguson during his criminal trial. It's not fair that Kilpatrick, who had 20 years to go on his sentence, is free, and Bobby, who's got 10 years to go, is still stuck in prison. Kilpatrick had state lawmakers, businessmen, and friends of Donald Trump fighting for his release. But Ferguson's battle for a pardon or commutation didn't have the same star power. Like Kilpatrick, Ferguson did not accept responsibility or show remorse when he was sentenced nearly eight years ago, but his attorney says that today, that has changed. I can represent, I think, that he has demonstrated remorse in communications with me, okay? I mean, he doesn't really have the forum where he can go out and show the world that he's remorseful when he's locked up in prison, right? I can tell you that he re he regrets some many of the things that have happened. Tonight, Mike Ranti said his strategy to get Ferguson out of prison will remain between him and his client, but vowed that he doesn't see this battle anywhere near over. I'm still going to do what I can do um, to try to um, see if I can get him out. We're not done fighting for Bobby Ferguson at this point. If Ferguson does not receive a commutation, his attorney says he'll have another 10 years left on his sentence. We're in Detroit tonight. I'm Ross Jones, 7 Action News. All right, Ross, thank you so much. Big